we're about to go live, okay? All right, oh, we're gonna go live. Uh, -da, clicking to go live. <laughs> I think we're alive. Only two minutes late, everybody, but the chattering magpie is here at last to make your day. <laughs> welcome, gang. It's about damn time. <laughs> welcome, gang, and welcome, YouTube early gang and uh, punctual gang. I was just here. I don't know, you guys. I, I, I was trying to improve the stream. I actually was buying some new music so that we don't listen to the same stream music all the time so i got some tracks but then i got distracted and i was like oh the time and then i had to run to yeah get and some meanwhile water. we're 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 all sitting here like where in the hell is magpie we gotta do the stream i know but but at least you guys we don't have to deal with oh who's gonna read what who wants to read rosamine who wants to read ferdinand and i'm just begging somebody to say please volunteer we have to, we can skip that now because thank you J novel club we don't do read-alongs uh, on live anymore. We do read-alongs, however, in the server. Just this morning, we continued our read-along of Part 5, Volume 9. So if you want to be part of that, here's my humble plug. Do join us. Uh, we are going to continue reading that uh, book on my Discord server. If you don't want to you know, do the monetary thing, you can always join me at my alternate um, channel i started a new channel where i do read public domain books i am in the middle well actually we just started the blue castle and <laughs> yeah so i hope that you are enjoying that if you are following if not well um that's too bad i guess <laughs> all right I, I do still miss mm -hmm. I, I do still miss uh reading these these uh, chapters for everybody on youtube oh believe me i really do miss it i do and i do remember all the little uh jokes and things the reoccurring jokes that we had with uh the youtube gang i we do miss you um but that doesn't have I will to still end. find a way to <laughs> i will still find a way to insert some of them <laughs> i know you will uh i i expect no less from you uh mischief maker extraordinaire um <laughs> me no no i mean it. all right Ooh. so let's see Today we are going to be uh, reading, no, sorry, <clears throat> excuse me. Today we're going to be discussing uh, the latest pre-pub update. But before we do that, let me just, because I know once I ask a question, you guys will just talk about pre-pub and we will try to do something about <laughs> making it organized. But for now, let me just say hello to the YouTube early gang, starting with Akihana. Hello, hello says hi magpie and gang oh look she said hi to you guys as well uh says hopefully i can tune into this one if not then i'll look forward to the replay i hope that you're with us um but if not yes do enjoy the replay we'll try to make it as amusing as possible <laughs> maya Ruslan, hey um i'm glad that you're able to be here i think you're here if you are able to join are you are you are you with us is maya with us not with us Aw, not with us yet. But if you are able to, do join us over on the Discord server. Maya is one of join our us. members. Yeah. So, there you go. <laughs> Let's see, who else? Mm -mm. We have Jenny M says, Hello, Magpie and the gang. I probably will be asleep, but have a good time. I will catch the replay. Have sweet dreams, rest well, and I hope you enjoy the replay. Let's see, who else? Sasha Strawberry. I'm shipping those two. Who? Who are you shipping? Are you shipping? Okay, so the person before you was talking about uh, Anastasius. So are you talking about Anastasius or are you talking about Ferdy and Rosamine? Uh, please let me know because I hope it's not Emmanuel and Anastasius. Or <laughs> 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 it's one hell of a crack ship. Oh yeah. By the way, you got like okay. So I'm working on on a on the ship's video, and I put the um put kind of like a little outline of what I'm gonna cover for the next ship's video, and I got a complaint from somebody in this in this in this 
voice chat. I won't say who, but they said not enough crack ships. These are like weak crack ships. So I have to work on my crack ship yeah. game. Let's start with that. We'll <laughs> put Emmanuel Anastasius on top of the list. But honestly, I am more of an Emmanuel Raublet, uh shipper. <laughs> so crack shipper. I mean, they do have something going on there. <laughs> Yeah, this is distasteful. Okay, let's go. Uh, A. Edwards. Yeah, I know your word. You're basically left without words. So I will just yeah. Emmanuel uh, is more pathetically deluded than grotesque. Says A. Edwards. Hmm. I have people that might say to the contrary. Um, yeah. Right. Liz. Yeah, I disagree with that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So people are saying like he's pathetically deluded than grotesque. Some people in Reddit said that they think they pity him because he there's no way he can ever get his stab and he's like he's always going to be under the control of some noble. I'm like, dude, this is the world you live in. What we are not the only one who lives under this strange hierarchy of nobility and such. Um I if he can uh, mm? <laughs> and like bring power compress his mana. He can. But I, I'm sorry, I, but I, I can't. I think like with that man. I I would <laughs> yeah. just like um I would put him in the same category as Georgine, as in it's like he knows what he's doing. It's just that it's just like um the gods are just so against his plans that he will never succeed. <laughs> yes, Here, it's like Georgine would have succeeded if everything was not going against her. I'm George, sorry, yeah. no. <laughs> At some point, you have to accept the reality of your station and nah. just yes. make No, I, w I wasn't talking about him becoming have. a noble. I was talking about like him just like uh, getting Gervasio up there and um, sending Rosamine to the temple. Yeah. So terrible plan. Terrible, terrible plans. Plan. You he, he's basically no. He's he's sided with the wrong oh. person. Yeah, but yeah. more morally he's, bad, but competently well built. Mm, Very yeah, he's, easily manipulated. He's kind of like those mad scientists that you know care about what have everybody else they just want that specific, you know prize or thing to study yeah jazz you're breaking up so a lot of the stuff i couldn't really hear so you may want to uh try to see if you can fix that try logging in logging out and logging back into the chat because i really couldn't hear what you said um but do be sure to tell us the thought once it's all fixed. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So that was a comment from A. Edwards. And then uh, my bestie Natasha, I'm watching you people, says hashtag early gang. Hello. Tarant Moon Dream By says... By the way, mm -hmm? I'm watching you people in this chat. Where are Hi. you? Where? <gasps> Natasha, you're here for the first time ever. Oh my gosh. Everybody say hello. So I'm watching you people. Hello, hello, hello. For the first time for the in forever. <laughs> for the first time, <laughs> period. Hey! So happy to see you here at last. You have, she's been a member that for some time. That was time you got here, damn it. Yeah. Welcome, welcome, yeah. welcome. Uh, I am always so excited to see people join the Discord chat. Not that I don't find it fun to just talk with you guys. But it's it's it just makes me happy to see the little tribe expand, and even though it gets a little bit unruly, <laughs> the more people there are, it's it's always fun to see. A that. little Twitch streamer, I know unruly. My can you hear me now? I can hear yes. you. I can yes hear you. So yes. All right. So welcome, uh, Tarot Moon Dream. Hello. And says, yeah, I can't wait, but have to say, wish we got to see the goddess descend and all the craziness that we missed. We're going to see it in another POV. I won't say whose POV it is, but you will see it. Uh, but that's in I future get a parts. It's, hmm? I get a feeling it's uh, 30. Maybe. We'll see. We will see. You haven't gotten his POV yet, this, pre <laughs> this uh, chapter. Yeah, book. it would be lovely to see it since he's a mastermind right now. He's playing 4D mm. chess with all of our brains. I would you just like to want have him because you love book. him so much. Okay, so first Patrick and then Jess. You, you just want him because you love him so much. Yeah, yeah, so. that's that's news. <laughs> Jess? Oh, I want the entire series in his POV. Oh, girl, you and me both. <laughs> I'd be totally okay with going through all this all over again. You guys, you guys, the moment I learned that, uh, well, I always wanted his book in 
in his POV because he's such an interesting character. But when I when Kazuki Sensei confirmed the truth of what I kind of had an inkling sus suspicion that of all the bookworm characters, he's the m one with the biggest potty mouth. He just doesn't say this stuff, but he basically has <laughs> he and Eckhart are both the same. So like he's always angry, lots of violence in his mind. Just kind of want to see. He's how that do you mean like he's constantly cursing people out in his head yes uh yeah, it'd just be interesting to see him how he was in the temple without mm. rosemine like before rosemine yeah so at first he kind of like, led a very not that long before life. rosemine but maybe like a couple months before rosemine entered the town mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah uh we do get one one pov before he got before rosemine got into his life that is when He's investigating Rosamine and he's like, he's like, oh, well, the crushing didn't kill the high bishop after all. Pity. <laughs> 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 that was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. What? This this guy who looks so stoic and calm on the outside had these kinds of thoughts. Yeah, that was that was pointing towards his violent tendencies. He did the same thing, though. He did the same thing with the um, Lons and Aves and stuff. They, he was like, oh, man, they didn't kill each other. Uh, it's a bit unfair to judge someone by their thoughts instead of their actions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, Elaine, like he was saying that he thought they were going to kill each other, so that was part of his plan, that they would kill each other, or at least mm -hmm. do something to each other. But he's like, oh, okay, Didn't well, I guess it. I have to go to plan B. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, let me see, who else is, is on the chat? Uh, hello to Tails fan, Demonia Deville. Um, let's see... Okay, so I'm watching you people said I can't find the voice chat. You finally found us. Yay. Red Tempest says, running behind a bit, but hi, everyone. Happy to see you here, Red Tempest. I am sharing as we speak your memes. I'm just trying to pace them out a little. I'm, I actually haven't hadn't seen them because, again, I got here late, but I'm showing them for everybody to enjoy, and they are awesome. <laughs> I'm just seeing the one with Rowblet. Oh, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. The one with Freerin, yeah. the Freerin Rabotani <laughs> manual one. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Christopher Bright, Gunther. No step, no problem. Get over there and punch some wolves. Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, so Emmanuel can do all kinds of things. He just has to look like think outside the box. Uh, so, you know, maybe you can just uh, I don't know. I don't know what he can do. He can definitely try to do something to fix his ma his stapless situation, such as using a child. And okay, uh, by the way, you guys, I'm thinking back to Hildebrand's situation, and it just slammed into my head. You guys, what did you think of Raublut's way of like um, how he handled the whole situation with Hildebrand and how he fooled? child what did you guys think I, of I his felt bad for the um description like the picture you could see his evil face mm -hmm. <laughs> and and my cinnamon roll is just <laughs> get happy i know <laughs> wait you, magpie you know what my catchphrase for this whole pre pub is what is they it? played me like a damn fiddle oh no yeah so i'm like yo Hildebrand, I get it, you're a child, but Arthur and all his other retainers, they fell for something like this? I was about to say the same thing, that they, oh. they did not do a good job picking his retainers because they oh. should have been able to see through that immediately. Oh my goodness. So I am of two minds. I am of two minds, you guys. There is there is two... Actually, I'm, I'm not of two minds. I just have to bring up both sides of the discussion. So one side says yeah there was absolutely no excuse which is the one that i'm leaning towards like no matter what that that was just so plain to see that he was lying that they definitely were not doing their jobs the other side is equating or likening the hildebrand situation to rosamine's situation like say okay but okay think about this what what would Rosamine's retainers have done if Ferdinand had come all of a sudden, or Karsted had come all of a sudden and said something? Yes, she can do this thing now because Sylvester said so, when before Sylvester ha had said absolutely not, and they had just ha and they had just been like, cool, okay, you know, Ferdinand has spoken. Um, so they kind of likened it to that. What do you guys think? Do you guys think it's the same situation or no? I compared it to Wolfie and the Ivory Tower. 
Wilfried and the Ivory Tower, but that was children. Like um, Hildebrand to Wilfried. Okay. Yes, yes, except that oh, he didn't I... have this, the safety net that was Rosamine that helped him later on. Oh, right, right, yeah. right. Patrick? I, I think if I think if Hildebrand's retainers were uh, competent enough to spot this trap, I think Hildebrand would be dead. Oh. oh. I blame his mother. No, I totally blame his mother. because I mean, Anastasia definitely pointed sec. that out. Yeah, yeah, hold on a sec, crazy. Uh, Jess, then I will go to crazy. Jess. No, I blame his mother because she, she's like, um, I think she's the smartest out of all of the Zent's wives. <laughs> and uh, why isn't she doing anything for her for her child? Yeah. So, so yeah. Anastasia's oh, actually. Oh, hold on a second, Patrick. Hold that thought. Uh, uh, crazy, yeah, sorry. crazy, and then Patrick. So Anastasia's had that thought, like as as soon as he realized that Hildebrand was tricked into letting them in mm -hmm. to the farthest hall to catch stops. He's like, they could have killed him right there if mm. he if he hadn't uh, cooperated. Wow. Yes, that is true. He was even angry because of that. That is true, I guess. I don't know, man. Then they would still would have gotten the face stone anyway. Um, all right, right, Patrick. So, I mean, oh, okay. hindsight is twenty twenty. <laughs> yes, always, always, so, always. I, I did say Anastasia said this, but now I'm kind of rethinking it. But either way, um, someone in the, I think in this pre-pub said something about part of the the reason why Hildebrand was so easily manipulated is because immediately upon his baptism, he was given a, a villa and mm -hmm. separated from his parents, mm -hmm. so he wouldn't get the education that normally a, a royal child would get. Yes. Yeah, and I... He's I, not, he's not education uh, continue, He's you not getting that education from his... From yeah, his he's mother. not getting, getting that education from his folks on how to vet his retainers and figure out who's who's loyal who's not and how to make a disloyal retainer loyal yeah. you know like um the zen okay well he's not a real zen but the false zen whatever you want to call him he uh he's had a decade <laughs> like since the civil war he has had a decade to get his crap together you mm -hmm. know what i mean mm -hmm. Like, it's not like he doesn't know certain information. It's not like he can't search for information and be proactive. I'm not sure how long he's been on Trug. But mm -hmm. um, I'm pretty sure what hasn't been a decade that he's been on Trug. I, uh, I don't know. You know, and the mm -hmm. thing is, and the thing is, uh, the first thing I would do, like, he, he married Magdalene. Uh, and she's Dunkelfelger. Mm -hmm. Dunkelfelger knows a lot about, you know past um the way things were were run and stuff like that so he could have gone to dunkle Hulger and asked them like hey what were the zents like before what information do you have hmm. he could have gone to other duchies and mm -hmm. other duchies and asked hey what information you have and at least make a little gruesome height from <laughs> all the information he could get that they currently mm -hmm. know and be a better zen but he doesn't yeah that's one way um, that they could have fixed the situation no now I was going to say it's like I think it was like during part four like there were multiple demonstrations about like the lack of books made information preservation mm -hmm. like nigh impossible mm. yes. the amount of times I mean, I can... they said information had to be rediscovered and relearned yeah yeah that's what it's, I mean it, like, that's not that's the only reason to, that's why he and would the go to stuff. the different duchies and no, ask them the, questions. The information does not exist in other duchies because it died. The information died. Well, there has to be information from the yeah. older guys who've lived a lot longer, you know? I think also... I don't think yeah, they're admitted bad. to a lot of it. Uh, crazy? Like, I remember... Uh, or was it Kadir who wanted to talk? Uh, I, I want to tell. Okay, okay. Yes, go ahead. Yeah. So... It so information wasn't lost it was destroyed everything uh ever since the, the civil war started like the the battle for uh, the net sense started with the five princes every time a prince lost and all of their retainers were executed their knowledge went with them anything that had to do with and with anybody who tried to uh fought for the to become the net sent and lost they were all purged 
Yeah, but you have an entire library at the academy that they could have gone. There were many things that uh, they could have done. Yeah. So there were a lot of things that they, they could have done. Them, I know, like I know. Yeah, but think Bernie about this. Even told them they there were. That is the whole point of the story. There were many things they could have done, but they had forgotten over time so much of like the written tradition. They had placed emphasis on like what my forefathers did and they forgot about the actual roadmap to get the Grutus right which was do the dedications and all that stuff that is the whole point of the thing like you can't just you, you have to be able to you have to learn how to gather information make it no. reliable and also here's the other thing you're a royal and my, I know Magdalena is, you know, Magdalena from Dunkelfalger, but in order to keep the balance between Klassenburg and the Greater Duchies and all this stuff, they are basically like trying to play this game where they, they're trying to keep the other Greater Duchies happy. So I don't know if that also factors in it, like how much support are they going to get from Dunkelfalger and stuff like that. It was all political as well. So and but mostly i think it was just a pride thing like kings and the king is not going to say like hey Dunkle Falker, i need you to help me to become king well or the whatever. problem is he also mm -hmm. doesn't have like that that kingly demeanor so he he's pretty much a pushover yeah, you have to fake it because he wants make to make it. everybody happy <laughs> yeah there's there's well, a little I think bit that's of that just because do. he likes the power to enforce that like attitude hmm. <laughs> All right. Yeah, he likes the power. Mm -hmm. He's always sick. So yeah, yeah right. it's like if he didn't have the grudges, like since he doesn't have the grudges, like acting like that as mm -hmm. a strong like leader mm -hmm. would more just be empty bravado. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I also had a question about um, Ema Emmanuel in that chapter. Uh, he was talking about he had the medals. Mm -hmm. uh, couldn't he like? Um, he took those medals out so how how does that even affect everything like how do you how would they find how is Fernand gonna find the medals if he moved them well that would probably be revealed during his will, pov yeah you will see so some I of that he mentioned or he, he moved them to like a box where they were not considered yeah. rooms. my theory is that he just hunts down the manual yeah either that or yeah um i th remember there's also the royals so they'll they'll make use of the royals so that's as much as i can hint to you uh there's that's valid questions but they will be answered in time <laughs> all right so um let's see more stuff from the chat i'm, I'm just reading out loud because i haven't even finished reading the stuff um so we have hello to everybody who said hi uh somebody is <laughs> um let's see oh my goodness there's the there's not a heartmut pov we do want a heartmut pov but we do get a mention of heartmut in this in in anastasius's point of view and again he elicited a kind of visceral reaction of disgust but he did kind of like give them a morale boost so that was good to see i'm always on the lookout for that. <laughs> i always on the lookout for that I just had like um an epiphany at the end of his pov oh he, he and he says uh rose mine and ferdinand passed there mm -hmm. so easily but i like he he yes. realized that yep i'm i'm nothing yeah his status as royal is slipping between his fingers he doesn't know about Ferdinand, but I'm sure that by now, after seeing that he was able to make it through the little, through the, the, whatever it's called, the, what do you call it? The barrier? The barrier. Sure. He was able to make it past the barrier. Rosamine was able to make it past the barrier. Uh, so it's, yeah, it's kind of sad for him, but you know what? I think he's smart enough. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I get the feeling he suspects. Yeah. yeah. If he doesn't. If he doesn't figure it out outright, like uh, like Dunkelfelger did, mm -hmm. Mm. for real. I mean, Dunkelfelger was thinking calmly in a post-battle situation, so it's like they had a lot easier time thinking. Yeah, and it was and it was it was taking into account as what's her name, um, Sieglin's is how she was able to make the connections. And Sieglin is a bright woman, so she made it. She made the connection. Yeah. Realized also, it. Also, Sieglin's POV happened later in the timeline. Oh yes. Um, you know what I thought was weird about um, Anastasia's POV? Uh, Eglatine. Yes, I understand her PTSD from, oh. you know, the war or whatever. Mm -hmm. But 
we've seen her in such a like she's been strong throughout this entire thing she's been strong she made rose mind do all those stuff she didn't you know what i mean like she's been a teacher a professor and like to see her like so scared and weak because she seemed weak at that point in terms of like mentally not physically, but mentally, she seemed really weak at that point. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and she, I actually, she didn't even want her I actually to leave. do understand um, her situation because this was all basically running parallel to the horrors of her childhood. So, uh, and we've seen her usually with Rosamine or whatever, where she's she has to put on a facade. Um, but when she's with you know in her personal space. She, She's definitely freaking out, and I get it. Like you guys know, I am. I am not a. I don't. I don't. I still. I'm angry at Eglantine, but I do understand where she's coming from. I like from. her. I know you do. I will simp. always simp for her. Simp. <laughs> hey, um, <what> you? <laughs> uh, so yeah, I I get it. It was it was interesting to see that um how well. But to me, it was interesting to to see how all the palaces and villas all are connected, how they're all placed around the sovereignty. So that was that was information I had absolutely no idea where. Like I see the sovereignty, and I don't know where all the palaces are. I don't even know like how it all works out. But they explained it, and also um, how instead of going to fight over at the royal at the royal palace, he went to the to this uh the royal academy academy Mm -hmm. yeah to fight there yeah but it was yeah that was interesting when they said are we gonna you know go fight Mm -hmm. um and anastasia's just like yeah we're gonna go fight Mm -hmm. like he was like the only royal that seemed like to have some balls to go like okay i gotta go take care of business you know yeah this just reaffirms the only person that's just hold on a second hold on hold on kadir patrick this just reaffirms my feeling that Anastasius is still the best royal. Honestly, yes, yes, yes. Kadir. Yeah. Oh yeah. Before this chat, we were all talking about in, so in defense of Anastasius, we just had a long <laughs> chat about that before. Yes, yeah. we do. We did also, have talk about that, and we did say Anastasius is right now. Besides Adolphine, Adolphine, the poor girl. Uh, let us not oh, forget yeah. about her. She's also best girl. <laughs> yeah. uh, she actually outranks Anastasius in my mind. But okay, go on. But yeah, um, but yeah, also just like a guarantee, like um, it kind of makes sense why she is so terrified because mm-hmm. it's like she never dealt with her trauma. Mm-hmm. It's just that her trauma never even had a chance to be triggered until mm-hmm. now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For yeah, real. So it's like, so it's like no treatment, nothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> Rosamond really needs to uh, in to introduce the concept of therapy in this world, because uh, yeah, that's kind of everybody that, needs that's to be how the uh, <laughs> how the noble way is. You you just bury your feelings and act like they didn't happen. Ah, uh, yes, yes, and that can't be good for anybody, honestly. Yeah, I felt so bad for Anastasia, and not like not just in this his POV, and like when you know they tell him about his Just dad in mm-hmm. yeah and his his family sucks man like, <laughs> he's like he's always being told how hor- like he's always being like like oh disappointed in his family you oh, know yeah they're like oh why did you do this no because your your dad is an asshole and Aww. he didn't want to come do his duty that's Aww. why like, <laughs> you know like he's trying to protect his family but they're making it hard for him to even say anything nice about him <laughs> Yeah. No, but you know, but yes. well, like, Ferdinand is Ferdinand is so absolutely blunt about it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, uh, Ferdinand yeah. being blunt. What a wonderful chap. What a wonderful <laughs> moment every time. <laughs> well, it's, there's no time to baby anybody at this point. So mm-hmm. and, you know, and he's and Ferdinand's actually babied the royal family. Yes, a lot he did. because he even told them he, he even he even told them he's like, you guys need to know this language too. What the hell? Mm-hmm. The entire like, country's been babying them. What what did like, he say to Eglantine? Rosamine figured out this language in a season. Why can't you? Right? <laughs> of course, Rosamine is an feverishly fond of reading, so she had absolutely no problem catching yeah. up. And Rosamine had like multiple like CEO positions, like chief head priest, like leader of this industry, leader of that, leader of this. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, but Hannah Lore learned it too. Yes, Hannah Lore at least is able to get to get some of the meaning across. Like she's not she's not like fluent like Rosemine, but she made the effort and she learned. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They are not making any effort mm -hmm. to learn. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, how are you going to rule a country if you don't make the effort to learn about it? Yeah. Also, I'm going to think back, thinking back to um, Hildebrand and all the stuff that happened. Uh, what do you think about... Uh, well, here's, here's one thing I, I forgot to... Not a, not a question, but here's one thing I forgot to say as like something we can consider. I blame Sigis Wald. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I blame the Sigis <laughs> what situation, you guys. Um, so Good motto. You, yeah, you guys, you guys remember how they changed the curriculum from from third year? They people got their staff. This was during Ferdinand's time. They switched it to first year, and it was done because uh, King Tarquil, of course, again, he. I also blame it on him, but King Tarquil was like, "Yo, I need my son to be able to be safe and to form his staff if necessary." So he, he was part of the reason why there was a precedent that they would lower the age for somebody who definitely should not be having a stop. So the fact that once upon a time, uh, young Sigiswald needed a stop uh, and he was given a stop, even if it was only the first year and everybody else was given a stop in the first year from then on, uh, that gave some credence to Rablitz claims that yeah it's for your safety that you will be able to get your stop now i don't know how screwed mana wise uh hildebrandt is he was compressing already but it just we don't know whether he's omni elemental i'm absolutely sure I'm not absolutely sure but, but he I'm can sure earn those elements that yeah, he doesn't but have he, right? but his stop can't have them once your stop if your stop doesn't have them then even if you pray and gain like divine protections, that doesn't that doesn't matter. Well, that's why. Well, like, didn't Rosemine fix hers? So no, that's why. Okay, so think about this. Uh, Anastasius has gotten divine protections from all the from. So he could, if if it was possible for him to get the Gutrus hide, he would have been able to get it. Anastasius and Sigis well, but they when they got their stop, they did not have the elements, so the stop is sealed. You can't. Even if they were to get all the divine protections from all the things, it's your staff that matters when you get it. So, yeah, basically, everybody who got their staff already, they're stuck with that. Uh, so, if Hildebrand had waited a little bit, had prayed, gotten his divine protections, gotten all the elements, then he goes to get his staff, and then it'll be omni elemental. And it'll be at the tree. Now, Rosamine, she already got a Omni Elemental stop. She got her her stop in the Garden of Beginnings because she was already <laughs> she was dyed by Ferdinand's Omni Elemental colors. Yeah, that's what I was <laughs> wondering if, if if her reason for like being able to like heal from that from getting a shop in the, her first year was because she was died by Ferdinand. So the no, so Which, the, the, the like reason why protection. she got so the reason why she got the Omni Elemental was because she was died by Ferdinand. Now afterwards she started to like like ooze mana everywhere. Like she had to she was doing like these accidental blessings all the time. But the reason why that was fixed was because she had she went around and got a, an improved stop when she did the all of the right. uh, the tablets yeah getting all getting all the tablets was uh what fixed mm -hmm. her stat problem yes but she wouldn't be able to fix it on the elemental correct uh fix what there, because her oh, shot her oh, yes because she wouldn't have been able to get inside the the to, the shrines to get the tablets correct so if you were lucky and you're Ami Elemental and you and they make you do it first year, you can fix it if you get a Grusha's height. But yes. if you're not Ami Elemental, mm -hmm. you're screwed. Yes, you're basically screwed. Uh, I, let me see. Yeah, there, there is also this thing that I remember, you guys. Let's remember that Hildebrand had to pray and compress and pray and compress because at first he wasn't being allowed in through the barrier in the in the lower archive so it's not like his mana is terrible uh, but it is it is at like arch arch to candidate levels 
but it's just not royal levels like zent uh, i mean not royal levels zent tier levels it's just not it, and even if it goes his mana does increase if he continues to compress which he will his stab won't be able to catch up and never will because he can't go into the shrines because he's not omni elemental yes also didn't didn't uh, Rosemine already have all elements uh, by virtue of being a, a devouring commoner? You know, yeah. mm -hmm. well, so here's the thing. Yes, he had, she had, um, she had elements, like a thin wash of all elements. But according, uh, I, I don't like to bring up like fan books because people consider them like spoilers, but it's just factoids. If, say, Dirk goes to the academy, and he doesn't do any divine protections, he won't be able to get a stop. <laughs> As a devouring, he just, he can't. It's just the way it goes. He has to have some colors. However, because he will be praying and he will be on, in the new curriculum where kids will have to get divine protections first before getting the stop, he will have no problem getting his stop. But if he, ha if he had, if she hadn't been died and she had been her little trans transparent like colorless self she would not have been able to get a stop that was that's word of word of uh kasuki sensei which yeah, that's can't argue with that that's an absolute um, who would argue that that is spoilers i don't know <laughs> i don't know there's people some are people, weird strange people. there are some folks that they would rather me not share about fan book stuff but fan book eight is a long way away you guys <laughs> so yeah. um it's like that was book two material that's like you technically spoiled yeah yeah <laughs> uh let's see so christopher rogers says hildebrand was not omni elemental yes that's right he said that he got his up and the guards continued further to look Ooh, yes so he got yeah <laughs> oh owie yeah i read that i was like those had to be the those those must have been the lansonave people or something like that so basic or at yeah. least or at least those people were still like had more mana than he did yeah for real um you know uh was interesting well it was actually kind of funny mm -hmm. uh, uh during prince anastasia when he en enters the um academy mm -hmm. And like he gets upset with Rosemine. She's oh, like yes. he, he, he's yes. like why didn't you warn me about this crap mm -hmm. and then you know he goes and he's like this is impossible how did it happen Oh, your family member screwed up again. Oh. You know, like uh, even Hartwood got a like a little um, hay in this um, chapter. Mm -hmm. Like he's like he. I think I believe he saw him, and he's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna ignore that." Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, he he just like uh, and he wanted to kill Rob, which was uh, I felt really bad for him because he wasn't able to do it. It was Magda Leno mm -hmm. that ended up, you he know. Bad. Oh yeah. <laughs> he wanted it so bad too. He mm -hmm. wanted to take him out so bad. Wouldn't you? <laughs> well, yeah, you know. Honestly, yeah. that increases my respect for him even more because he knew that it's like, okay, this is out of my capabilities. I will give away my glory and do my job. Mm. We'll so see. that made me respect him even more. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he was really angry. He's like, you betrayed, you mm -hmm. know, not just like, he's like, you betrayed your country pretty much, you also, know? Also, you guys, uh, I really enjoy it. Like, it's not realistic, but I really enjoy how in fiction they have like a scooby dooby doo villain moment where like... The monologue? Yeah, their monologues. <laughs> like, this is how I did it. <laughs> I was oh, thinking you gotta of enjoy the... <laughs> I was thinking You gotta enjoy a good monologue. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking of The Incredibles during that. I'm like... He's monologuing. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna, okay. Fine. He's monologuing. He's monologuing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, fine. He's monologuing. Whatever. He wants to brag. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. We're not like in the middle of a war, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I monologued can... IRL too. <laughs> <laughs> then the washing machine moment. Oh yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> And we, we we learned that you know all of the other knights they basically form their 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 high beasts while they're flying, but we but from what we read Anastasius just slammed back into the ground. <laughs> he didn't form his high beast. He was just basically fell. Uh, but luckily he was wearing face stone armor, so he didn't get hurt. But uh, that's just saying like a little bit like his his uh, prowess with the sword and he's I don't think he's been keeping up with. His training. Didn't, 
didn't Ferdinand say something to Rosemine about um, a powerful noble with no combat experience would just in- inject chaos on the battlefield? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And and her watching did exactly that. Yeah, no. Uh, also, it was like um, I have a bigger stick than you do. Like he mm. saw that moment where they're like, "Oh, he has a Grusha sight. He's the true scent." Mm-hmm. Oh, her Grusha sight is smaller, so it's not it's not the real one. Like it's skinnier than the other one. Yeah, it's a magic device, not dick size. Like <laughs> they were like, "But mine's bigger than yours." You know, I can do anything better than you. I was just like, "Oh!" But she opened the country's gates. Like they're arguing while they're fighting all at the same time. I yeah. could just not imagine this. I would wish it would be animated so badly. Mm-hmm. Now, here's something that Lord Locke Skellington is saying on the chat. Says, I'm curious if Rosamine, now as an avatar of Mastinora, can help fix Hildebrand's stop. Now, that's that's not on Rosamine. That's on the that's on the gods. Um, I had a theory about this. It's like, what if he just destroyed the metal that destroyed your step? Then you get a new metal and then you get a new step. That does, that's not how it works. <laughs> Shit. You can only get it once in a lifetime. Talking about gods, uh, Anastasia did mention the gods at one point. Mm-hmm. He mm-hmm. was uh, he he was saying he's like uh, they don't they don't have their priorities straight. I'm like uh, they don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I do remember I do remember him talking about that. Also, I mean he's not wrong. <laughs> yeah, they, just, they all they want is for freaking Jurgen Schmidt to be filled with mana. Sheesh, is that so hard? I think hard? it would be better. Like, <laughs> if their time, if their time was the same, maybe they would care a little bit more. But because time is not relevant in their wor- in their world mm-hmm. versus our the normal world, mm-hmm. it runs a lot slower. Yeah, so yeah. they don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Normally, a character bitching and complaining makes them less likable, <laughs> but every time Anastasius does that, I, f- I just like, ooh. Yeah. Another <laughs> thing is, like, at this point, they have the royal family has had so many chances to help stem the chaos and the destruction. At this point, they're just a plan B. Rosamine only was... No. Anastasius was only summoned to open a door in case... But they really, they didn't really need him. So why should he be kept abreast of the whole situation? Why waste time? If they need, uh, if they need to fight, they got their own, their own armed forces. Like, come on, Rosamine was able to like strike down her enemies with freaking lightning. <laughs> you guys, that's insane. Like, um, and it was, and it wasn't just lightning on everybody. It was lightning on their enemies, on their foes. Uh, that's incredibly impressive when you see it from Anastasius's point of view. Um, yeah, and uh, no, like I also like the monologue that comes from Magdalena. Oh, uh, yes. I love. She's like, you dared poison my husband, pretty much. <laughs> oh, she's does, like, you're not gonna be spared. She doesn't. Does she know about? She's like, I'm gonna that. strike you down. Did she say anything? Mm-hmm. Does she know about? little hildebrand and what her what her son did because i think she would have gone even harder not, yeah. No, because this, yeah i don't think she knows because oh. uh this was happening mm-hmm. yeah like this happened like right after that whole thing oh, so yeah. she doesn't know what's happening. I, I found the i found this well, it's gonna be yeah. interesting when she finds out oh yeah that's <laughs> gonna be oh man she'll because he's yeah. still alive. They're going to interrogate him. Yeah, but I remember there's, they have certain restrictions from the gods about how they handle the situation. So, No, Ferdinand we, knows how to get around that. Yeah, of course. We have yes. two more pre-pubs, so it's like there's a good chance we could have her POV too. Oh, yes. We need, we need a lot of POVs. That's why I think a lot of this book is POVs, which is nice. I, I know a lot of people were, you- were complaining that the epilogue on part 5 was like, what? Why? But I actually yeah, am enjoying too soon. these. I know. Well, I want more stories. I am enjoying these. Why don't though. they... Hmm? Can't they use the Grusha height to open one of the gates, take the prisoner outside of the gate so they're not in Yurgishmith, so they're outside of the gods' rule, and then kill them there? <laughs> wait, what are you... Wait, who? What? <laughs> Because they're not allowed to kill, right? Mm. But you, mean, you mean they're not allowed to kill Gustavio? <laughs> Gustavio. They're not allowed to kill, not allowed to kill anybody. Gervasio. Gervasio. Oh, damn it. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, like, can't they can't they open like one of the gates and take them outside, like all the prisoners outside, and then just chop their heads off, bring their heads back into Jurgen Schmidt? Well, 
it would be wasteful so since Rita, they do need that. They is, do need isn't mana. Isn't the lore so. that like if isn't the lore that if they leave Yerkinsmit, Aram, uh, the god of life, will kill them himself? Yes, no, they because, will. Yes, um, they need. They, that's Varshio what they left. need. Well, yeah, but remember, they need to live in ivory buildings, otherwise they waste away and die, or something like that. Basically, a wiggly will find them and kill them. That's what, uh, that's what is, is... Oh, you mean he can't go anywhere in Lanzanave? He's stuck, like, in his palace? I mean, they, they, yeah. they basically, it's like, you have to take shelter, you you have to live inside a palace. I don't know if yeah, Wiggly will strike you down immediately, or if it'll be gradually, if you don't live out there. Mm. We don't have that information yet, but I imagine that you kind of want to take shelter in 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 a place, that in an ivory mm. building. Well, if it's in an ivory place, can't they use their shop to turn their armor into that and then just walk out and kill these people? You would make I for mean, a isn't great, that how you was would created? make for a great fanfic writer, Jazz. You, no, you definitely I'm serious, should like, consider. No, Jazz, <laughs> that's, those are Jazz, that's how Lanzanov was created. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, I'm serious. I think Ferdinand would say the same thing I'm saying. Except he hates Lanzanov and he just wants to end them. He's yeah. they, yes. The people of Lanzanov, they don't need these people. The, okay, so the people of Lanzanov, they're basically being colonized by these Jürgen Schmidt people. Uh, so, basically, everybody wins if they close the gates uh, to Lanzanev. Uh The locals will just carry on living their lives. They don't need a fam. They don't need a royal family that is descended from Jürgen Schmidt to rule them. They are technologically I advanced. Um, Wait, I, you know, I now that you say that, it's um, it's really interesting because uh, war affects you know surrounding areas, cities, mm -hmm. um, you know little towns and stuff like that. In Jurgenschmidt, it affects it, but not in Lanzane because they're okay. But mm -hmm. in Jurgenschmidt, they can't. They need the mana mm -hmm. to you know grow crops and stuff like I, that. So I just thought of a weird comparison. It's like you know those like alien movies was like they tried to invade and conquer earth mm. yet they get defeated simply because they're allergic to earth stuff oh i remember that movie <laughs> where where they die because <laughs> that's a whole genre <laughs> <laughs> like that one battleship movie where it's just like aliens are allergic to sunlight i have not seen that one but wait how can anyway let's, let, let's not talk about yeah. let's not talk about this <laughs> these tangents we only have 10 minutes left to talk about this pre-pub anything else about this pre-pub you guys want to cover um, well, um, the washing yeah, machine yeah. felt awful because uh, Anastasia just already <laughs> said it felt awful. Uh -huh. So now we know how it felt. <laughs> well, hmm, getting tossed around doesn't feel nice. Who would have thought? Mm -hmm. Like he could only <laughs> hold mean... his nose. Mm. That's all he could do. He, his, his, he was probably already full of water. It probably sucked. Mm. Like when you get thrown into water and it gets all up your nose. Mm. Yes, oh, the, yeah. the avatar of Meshinora inserted chaos as mm. she is wanting to do. Speaking of which... I, uh, I want to hear more people's reactions to heart after and how I wonder Anastasia how, described it. <laughs> I was wonder gross. how powerful these people are because they some mm -hmm. he, he said that some people were dropped from all the way from the ceiling. Yes. And these are... these are This is not like they had you're in your house armor. armor. This is yeah. like... The really huge auditorium. Ceiling. Yeah. Yeah, they had... They well, were in an auditorium happened. and it would have been scary Wait, if they hadn't when, had their face stone armor. Remember when they were jumping from the uh, from the window way back when they were um, taking out the Lansnave estate? Mm -hmm. uh, so the knights, the knights are pretty adept at bringing out their high beasts and doing that so that they don't. Yeah, but the Lansnaves only know how to make a knife. Yeah, but well, who cares Lanzanave about them? They can they can just fall and hurt themselves. <laughs> we don't care about them. Well, what about I, okay? Let's. Remember, it's the traitors that are the traitor royals guards that are fighting. Mm -hmm. There are some last names in there too. I liked um, only, when he described um, your only purpose is to equip silver. Yeah, I liked when he described Rosemine's uh, shield and Fernand's rainbow sword. Yeah, I kept thinking rainbow bright for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm like, oh, they probably look like pretty sweet with his sword, mm -hmm. his rainbow sword and her shield. Mm -hmm. That it's must like, have been you know, epic. I mean, it, it was such a yeah, powerful it blow. Epic. It was such a powerful blow that they knocked down a statue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, in my mind, I just thought of like um, fates just like or just like anime, like a rainbow laser sword. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they said <laughs> the god the the statues of the gods flashed. It, yeah. It's weird, you, you know. Uh, Ferdinand knocks down a, a god statue, and the gods are like, "All right, you three need you need to yep. get in here, and, and we need to discuss." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, Ferdinand also has a history with the gods. Yeah. 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 You know, like I, could, I can understand why they don't like him. <laughs> <laughs> He's always trying to, to be go against fair, them. To be fair on that one, that's just their worm, and um, I I don't know if the other gods really have any really really uh prussian if they have any beef with Ferdinand, <laughs> i think the yeah, one that it, might have the most beef would just be miss Eunora, probably because she's the one yeah. that descended to help sort out the mess uh but we'll see and another she's the closest POV. to araman we'll see we'll see the pov for sure um, actually yeah she would have a grudge yeah, you got a little close he, to spoilers he, uh, uh, i did not say that no <laughs> that was that was freaking <laughs> Ferdinand found a way around um, her little, her little rule of no killing people. And we'll see how that will so happen. She, so she might, so she might be really pissed at him. Yeah. So we we <laughs> know is, we know that the absolute yeah. lord of loopholes. <laughs> and we know that <laughs> we know what he did. We know that right now Gervasio is stuck in a gate, starving. Um, but I want to see how he did it. We will get, I'm sure, some POV at some point. Uh, I look forward to it, honestly. I wonder why wouldn't he just leave him there? Because he says he's going to go get him eventually. Why wouldn't he just leave him there to die? It's not like he's killing him. He's The guy's because, harping on his own, can right? He survive, can so, he survive up to a week without food or water? I don't know yeah. about water, but food... So if you were to definitely. leave him there to die, that would be effectively yeah. killing him. Yeah. Three days yeah. so food, is a whole, food is like um, three weeks, I think. Yeah, food is longer. Um, water water is, like, is not like three days or something like that. Well, that's days. because our bodies are made of water. So yeah, it's the rule of three: uh, yeah. three minutes without oxygen, three day, three days without water, three weeks without food. Or well, it really depends on on how much Your stores you have. I guess too. you could yeah. say yeah. yeah, how much you had before too. <laughs> but they also have magic, so they might run on magic too. You know, maybe. So uh, nah. this basically, to sum up this entire prepub, is we had. Uh, I should have done this to at the beginning of the prepub. Oh well. Uh, Summarize. Everyone's summary. getting played. Uh, first of all, we had. I think this was a very short uh, prepub. It felt short to me. I don't know about you guys. It felt extremely short. Yeah, it was short. It was short. We had the icky Emmanuel thing, which we learned how he's tr- how. Uh, religion died. He has uh, eyes on him from the one of his blue priests, Curtis. We learned his name. Uh, everything was shady, so he's of course being suspected of doing the things. Um, but he is colluding with with good reason because he is colluding with what's his face, Raublot. And we get in his POV how they get into the the furthest hall and go and the Lanzanabians get their staps and we see when Hildebrand gets played poor child you guys oh. poor child mm. um, and then mm-hmm. in the second POB we get uh, Anastasius his basically his reason to live right now is to protect his woman and child that's basically it um, that's his priority right now that's why he went to the sovereignty because uh, Ferdinand basically threatened him <laughs> Like you don't get here, <laughs> you got your child and your good wife priorities. are going to be yeah they are good priorities they're <laughs> going to be you know in big trouble so <laughs> he went there honestly stop it with this freaking meme Red Tempest uh, <laughs> 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 and so yeah we get that we get the fighting Anastasia realizes that you know he is his status as royal is slipping through his fingers because not only is there one person with a good recite that is Rosamine, but there's also Gervasio and possibly Ferdinand who was able to make it across the barrier. Ooh. And we did see a little <laughs> bit of oh, yeah. the the fighting going on there, the washing heartmuts. Good You stuff. know it's interesting, like for any story, it's always like um when it comes to politics, it's always the church versus the state. Like in this case, like the church wants its power back. That's why they want Rosemine. They want to bring all these traditions back. By bringing the traditions back, they bring power to the church. Yes. Uh, and so, you know, I, 
like I know people like people are saying like yeah the reason he looks at Rosamine is you know as a to for her to serve as a flower and we get confirmation here that he did not look at Rosamine that way he was actually like ambitiously wanting to bring back traditions and all the things so it's a different level of fanaticism and zealotry but it's just really icky because it doesn't take into account her 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 will like what she wants it's just like we're gonna use you whether you want to or not we're gonna take you and you're gonna be here and yeah so yeah i wonder how that would work because they would have to trap her they would have to do something to trap her there mm -hmm. if um if everybody got their way in the sovereignty mm -hmm. and they got rose mine mm -hmm. uh they would have to find a way to be able to control her because she's not i mean i guess they would probably force her to make a name good luck to them honestly. like a stone name <laughs> right a face name I assume that she, he thinks she is more of a common, you know, normal noble, and that if she is put in that position, she will abide by it due to family ties and, you know, will of the, the Zent and whatnot. So if, if she is put, if there's a true Zent and she's put in as the, you know, the high bishop that she would she, at that point want to be the high bishop because that would be the best way to serve. Or I, they I could just give her that, bucks. Kind, that kind of fanatic, you know, is that he... You know, he, he views that that's the best outcome for her. She would want that, you know. And if she doesn't want it too bad, she's a noble and that's just how life is, you know. Yeah. So the good thing, though, is that Rosamine doesn't have to take any of that stuff. She already was taken from her family once. And there's no way that fans would enjoy a story where she's taken again. And this time by somebody who's not Ferdinand or who has her best interest at heart so i don't know you guys i just i just know that whatever they could have like given her all the books in jürgen schmidt but the fact that they just take her against her will you know um, to use her that was just not gonna fly i don't know you know i i kept thinking of um sylvester like was i like while i was reading this because i was thinking i'm like Rosemine is actually in a higher ranking right now than Sylvester. Mm -hmm. And Sylvester oh, actually mm -hmm. said that he was thinking about killing her family at one point. <laughs> you know? Uh, yeah, like, that was way back in part two. Mm -hmm. So I was like, is he going to think about, like, is she still going to be on my side? Or, you know, is she going to remember all the crap I did? Yeah, it's safe, to say, it's safe to say, though, Just... that, they, that they're in a relationship where he wouldn't have to worry about that. I mean, she went to go save yeah. Ferdinand and she told... She told what's his face. Uh, she told Sylvester about the threat of invasion. She participated in that. I mean, it's safe to say they're she... both too family orientated. Yeah, and they she... both see each other as family. Exactly. Yeah. Or at yeah. least he's he's collaborators. A, he's a distant family member. He's a distant family member, but he's but he's still like she cares about his children. She cares about his wife. She cares about how he rules <clears throat> the duchy. Like she cares about Sylvester. Sylvester is like Rosamine's silly uncle. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, who said that he me. wanted to kill his entire family, her entire family? Hmm. I I think he, he said that as to. just like a decision he decided not to do. Yeah, he didn't like he didn't to. actually. I don't think he actually put much consideration into that. I think he would have done it if Fernand didn't wasn't involved in the situation. <laughs> I. All right, I everybody. I know this is this is a very interesting conversation. We can continue it offline, but uh, we are our time is up. Uh, oh, I, I just want to say one thing. No! <laughs> well, Patrick yes. says you can't I just say nothing. Say, okay, hold on a second. Emmanuel is yeah. the... <laughs> Go on. Hmm? I, I just want to say Emmanuel is the second ugliest character in the entire franchise. After... <laughs> 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 Alright, uh, Natasha, what's up? So I just had a question. It's not really related, but I've always wondered. Do you think that the gods are so mad at Ferdinand it's, I, I think it's one of two things. I don't want to know your opinion. Is it because he knew how to finesse and get around all, all of their statutes and just do things and cut corners? Or is it because he just jumped in, wrecked stuff, and offended the heck out of them? I mean, do you think they're more soft because, oh my gosh, he doesn't have to bow down. He knows how to get around this stuff. Or is it that he's the saudacious pup that needs to be put in line? I mean, which one do y'all think it is? Probably he's an animal. I don't think it, I don't think one reason alone is enough to make the gods mad at you. I think you need to repeatedly offend them. I, I think it's more I think... It, that he 
like he jumped the shark, got the Grudashite, but then didn't do anything with it. And yeah. I think that's what offends him more. I think we could it. write a book about how much they hate Ferdinand and why. So <laughs> yeah. it's I, I, yeah. They're not angry with Ferdinand, they're just disappointed. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it's because he's so defiant to what they want him to do. I think it yeah, also has so to funny. do Yeah. I think it also has to do with the fact that, you know, Erwerman like Ferdinand went around and he slammed through <laughs> the circle in the sky. Uh, he slammed through, barged his way in there brute for by brute force. And that would have been offensive, right? But Erwin still was like, okay, fine, get ready, pre get re receive the wisdom. So he condescended to give Ferdinand the wisdom when he well, was a little, little It wasn't teenager. just that, Ferdinand. I think he left. Ferdinand also uh, stopped two different Zent candidates from getting the full Grisha, the full Messianor's yes. book. Yes. So, I mean, that also pissed him off. So <laughs> it's it's the fact that he, he had the audacity to barge in there. Uh, our women condescended to start to give him the down, let him do the download thing, and then he was like, "Huh, eh, I'm leaving," and he went right back out the way he came. He did not build the foundations. He stopped somebody else from getting the foundations. I think he has he has oh. a lot, uh, a lot of t against him oh. by now. <laughs> Man, you know, speaking of our women, how much of uh? Of mine's memories, would he remember? We will... Like, how much did he read? I don't know. Uh, actually, I don't know. I don't... That's that's a question that you guys will have to think about, and you guys can... I don't know how much it is. I don't know. Uh, At the very least, he knows her true name. Yes, for sure. The only, the only thing I can think of is like you touch the person and then you can kind of see like their whole story flash before their eyes. That's what I imagine. Like they see the story yeah. flash before it's their like, eyes. I'm not sure how much he saw into like her previous life because she didn't mention like Rosamine's previous name. No, I yeah, don't think about Arano. the Urano. I think it was the just the mind stuff. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh my goodness. We're four minutes. Okay. We have to go now. Everybody, it's been a pleasure. Hey, no. it, 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 your real name is Vine. Yes, yes. So he only knows he only knows about the mind stuff, not the Urano. All right. So everybody, we gotta go. It is time to go. It's six o'clock. Ah, uh, fun times, you guys. Uh, I hope you do join us for the next pre-pub uh, discussion. I keep saying read along. I wanted to say that. Um, if you do want some read along, I am. I, you can join me at the other channel. I am reading the Blue Castle. It's fun. Stage one of grief. <laughs> I know. I know. Um, yeah, and yeah, that's about it. That's all I have to say for now. I am working on some new material, but as this is April, it's a very busy month, and uh, I'll try to get. I'll try to get the video up as soon as possible. All right, everybody, say goodbye and thank you, uh, YouTube chat, for joining us and for sharing your thoughts. Please continue to share your thoughts in the comments. For those of you who are watching the replay, always look forward to reading those as well. And <laughs> welcome to all our new members who are joining us on this uh, on this uh, voice chat. And uh, happy to see you guys. And if you want to join us, remember to. Uh, support me via Kofi, become a monthly member, and you can join us as we do fun stuff here on the server. What did we do last week? We actually sat down to watch an entire season of The Dangerous In My Heart, which was an experience. We were only gonna watch we were only gonna watch maybe three episodes. We watched the entire season. That's 12 episodes. So <laughs> shout out to Teal who helped us with that. <laughs> And uh, Jas, who adopted a new child. <laughs> oh yeah, my child. Um, yeah, so we what does that mean? we might do another watch party soon. Uh, we do have a movie to watch. Anyway, so yeah, join the join my uh, the Discord, join the nest, and you'll be able to interact with these join wacky us. fun people. <laughs> pay uh, magpie more money uh, yes yes pay me more money <laughs> I would, also I would love more be money sure to, to like subscribe with. and uh yes. follow her do share these videos now since I, we no longer read this is no longer the secret the secret whatever club and no longer secret so do share it 
like it, shout it from the rooftops. We're having a discussion here. <laughs> the speakeasy is forced to become legit. Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, well, too bad. We only sell soda here now. <laughs> soda pops. All right, everybody. Pleasure to see you guys. Pleasure to be here. And I'll see. We'll see you on the next week. Say goodbye, gang. Bye, gang. Bye, Bye gang. Bye, gang. Bye. Bye, Bye gang. Bye. Bye, gang. Yeah. yeah, you got a whole bunch of smartasses in your uh, voice chat here, Magpie. <laughs> <laughs>